Good day, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over how to derive the basic geometry formula for a circumference of a circle using the arc length uh, parametrization um, of a curve formula. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start out by by taking a look at uh, some equations. So we know. Let's say we have, let's assume that we have a circle. Okay, I'll draw a circle on a coordinate system, and uh, the assumption here is the circle has radius r, okay, and it's centered around the origin. So from uh, coordinate geometry, let me just indicate what the radius is, so let's say the radius is r. So from coordinate geometry, we know that uh, if um, this circle is centered around the origin with radius r, the equation of this circle is given by x squared plus y squared equals r square, okay? And then we also know from um, geometry that a circumference of a circle C is equal to 2 pi r, all right? So um, the parameter parameterization of this curve, of this circle is given by x equals r cosine t and y equals r sine t uh, for t going from zero to 2 pi, okay? So that 2 pi indicates a complete rotation. And we see why this uh, satisfies this curve, because if we uh, input these values into this equation, we're going to end up with a true statement, okay? So let me show you that to you real quick. So we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and my argument is these two substitutions of x uh, and y will satisfy this equation. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So we're going to have if I substitute the x value here, I'm going to have r cosine t squared. Uh, and if I substitute the y, I have r sine t squared equals r squared. Okay? All right, so now uh, if I simplify this, I'll have r squared cosine squared t plus r squared sine squared t equals r squared. And then I can factor out r squared, and I'll be left with cosine squared t plus sine squared t equals r squared, and we know that this is, this can be substituted with 1, we're using our Pythagorean identity, so we just have r squared equals r squared, so we have a true statement, okay? So uh, this parameterization is an accurate parameterization of this circle right here, okay? So this is the task we want to accomplish, so let's write this task. Um, show, <coughs> show, uh, show that the circumference circumference um, of a circle with radius r radius r um, e, um, which is the formula C equals 2 pi r, show that the circumference of a circle um, using C equals 2 pi r in geometry is true um, using the arc length parameterization. The arc length, length uh, parameterization Um, formula um, on the equations of a circle. Of a circle, okay. All right. So, um, so the goal here is we have a circle uh, with radius r. The circumference is equal to two pi r, as indicated in geometry. We want to show using the arc length par parameterization formula that um, this is the case. Um, using the parametric representation of, of the circle, okay? So uh, before we do that, we just look at, take a look at what the formula is real quick. So let's say we have, um, let me write this in, in green, let's say we have x equals x of t. We have a curve uh, defined by x equals x of t and y equals y of t on the integral t1 uh, 
is less than um, or equal to t, and t is less than or equal to uh, t2. All right, let's so say we have this constraint. Then um, the arc length from t1 to t2l is going to be the integral from t1 to t2 of the square root of um, dx dt square plus r uh, dy dt square. Okay, so this is the formula we're going to be applying on the parameterization of our circle uh, from 0 to 2 pi, and we have to show that this actually results in this c is equal to 2 pi r basic uh, formula for the circumference of a circle. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do it. So for our circle, we have x equals, um, so x is um, r cosine t, as we indicated earlier. For a circle radius r, x is equal to r cosine t and y is equal to r sine t. You know, to get a complete rotation of the circle, it's going to be for 0 is less than or equal to t and less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay? So now, if we're going to apply this formula here, just keep in mind the fact that uh, 0 is going to be t1, your lower bound, lower limit of integration, and 2 pi is going to be your t2. Okay? All right, so uh, to do this, let me complete my formula missing the t. To do this, uh, we need to find the x dt and the y dt and then plug it in here, evaluate the integral, and that will give us the desired result, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So the arc length, which is basically, in this case, L is actually the circumference of the circle, okay? Um, so the circumference of the circle, which is L, the arc length from 0 to 2 pi, is going to be... Um, the square root of, now we need to do, let's compute the r dt, the x dt, and the y dt on the side here, and then we, we're going to plug it in here, okay? So the x dt is a derivative of r cosine t with respect to t. So the derivative of cosine is sine, so we're going to have negative r sine t, okay? And then the y dt is going to be the derivative of r sine t with respect to t. So we get R is just like a, is a constant. So the derivative of sine is cosine, cosine t. All right, so this is what I'm going to input here. So the x dt is going to be a negative R sine t square. That is the x dt square. And then the y dt is going to be R cosine t. I'm going to square that dt, okay? All right, let's go ahead and simplify this uh, radicand a little bit and see what we can do. Get from there. So we're going to have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root <coughs> of, when we square this minus, it becomes positive. So we have r squared sine squared t plus r squared cosine squared t dt, okay? All right, now we can factor out r squared like we did earlier when, when I was trying to show you that the parametric equations does satisfy the equation of the circle. Uh, factor out the r square. And that leaves us with uh, sine squared t plus cosine squared t, all right, as a radicand dt, okay? And as indicated earlier, using the Pythagorean identity, we know that sine squared t plus cosine squared t equals 1, right? So I can simplify my integral further into zero, the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of just r squared. Okay, this whole piece becomes 1 and 1 times r squared is r squared dt. Okay, that becomes the integral from 0 to 2 pi of r dt. Okay, now um, we know that this is like a constant, the radius is a constant, so I can factor it out of my uh, integral. So this becomes r multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 pi. I can put a 1 there as a dummy variable, 1 dt, okay? If I anti-differentiate 1, or a constant, or uh, in this case 1, I am going to uh, apply the power rule for integration, and I'll have r times t evaluated from 0 to 2 pi, okay? And then applying FTC part 2, we're going to have r times, input the upper limit of integration, 2 pi minus the lower limit, and then you end up with uh, 2 pi r, okay? So L equals C, 
So that basically shows that using parametric equation that C, the circumference of the circle, is 2 pi r, which is the basic formula that we have uh, from geometry. Okay, so basically using the tools of calculus and, and implicit differentiation to arrive at our basic uh, geometry formula. All right, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I could feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, more videos can be found on myyourself.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.